got some Panthers here. Uh, grade four was a real turning point for Kenny. One school day in the winter, he woke up, rolled out of bed, looked outside. Snow. Snow. Yes. He rushed downstairs to listen to the radio, and he heard the words all students love to hear. Buses are canceled. Kenny had a snow day. And on this particular snow day, he decided he was going to make a movie. His first. It was a stop-action animation film called The Battle of Belgium. In grade seven, Kenny had probably his favorite all-time teacher, Mr. Moyer. Getting a nod. Uh, Mr. Moyer remembers Kenny very well. He remembers that Kenny was fascinated by history. He always had so many questions. In fact, Mr. Moyer remembers that he used to take extra time preparing his lessons because he didn't want to disappoint Kenny. Come grade eight, there was talk that he might be chosen valedictorian. But he was more concerned with whether he'd win the grade eight history award. He was honored with both. So on to high school, and in high school he took history classes every chance he got. In grade 10, he had a chance to work on his military strategic skills, fighting World War I and World War II. Uh, he also developed a real passion for architecture and design. He brought home the bronze medal from Skills Canada. Kenny was a member of Husky AM, student council, swim team, and in grade 12, bit of anxiety. And I think a lot of our graduates here this evening felt the same thing. What do we do after high school? Kenny had so many interests. He loved history. He was passionate about architecture. But then there was movies. Always movies. And so Kenny chose the film studies uh, program at York University. And for the next four years, he's going to be making great movies. And thanks to YouTube, we're going to be able to follow along because Kenny has his own channel, Snow Day Productions 1. <laughs> now, we don't know for sure what's in Kenny's future or the future of all of our graduates here this evening. We can't know the future for sure. And for our graduates, high school is now in the past. So all we know for sure is the present. And in the present, tonight, and forevermore, your valedictorian is Kenny Edwards. <laughs> <laughs>